Greetings. Characters in DAWs Studio come with a predetermined skin, including its color. Genesis 8 figures look closest to the Europeans and their skin is white. But humans in real world have very vast and diverse kinds of skins. And it is not obvious whether you even can change this aspect of the character in DAWs Studio. In this video, we will see that you can and how to do that. First of all we of course need to select the character. And proceed to the surfaces window, it is the main window for working with the object's materials, textures, and overall visuals. Here in the editor tab, again select the character itself. You may have some different presets for the skin here if you somehow acquired them. By default there is none, so let's change this manually. To do so, you may think that you need to change the base color. As this is the setting for changing the color of the character, sounds quite obvious. Just select the right color and apply. And it even kind of works, but I would not say that it looks particularly good. It is hard to control and looks a bit unnatural. Earlier in the days, this is was how people changed character's skin. But today with the eye ray and eye ray shader in particular, we have much better options. The setting that I am talking about is called translucency weight. 0.5 is the default setting that gives the current skin tone. If you lower this value, the skin will become paler and whiter. And with the high values, it becomes much darker. With the palest most value being zero. And the darkest is one. Pay attention that the translucency color value is the same color that we have it at the value of 1. And the base color is what we had at the value of 0. Though if you are going to use this method, you will notice the problems. When I look closer, it is clearly seen that not only the skin changed, but also so did the eyes. And it does not look normal. This happened. Because if you look at what exactly we applied these changes to, we will see that it was the whole character with all its surfaces. This included all the eyes surfaces, and even teeth and mouth. And when I open their mouth, we can see that it indeed looks odd. Returned everything to normal. So what can we do to fix this problem? Well we can go and manually select parts of the character that we want to change and don't select other parts. Or we can use these surfaces presets here that select everything that we need automatically. The skin preset looks sound like the obvious choice, as we are changing the skin, after all. Let's see. Well, eyes are no longer changing and look normal, but there is definitely another problem with the lips. And with the nails too. This is because when people usually have their nails and lips match their skin. So we need to not only change the skin but also the lips and nails. This can be easily done as there is a skin lips nails preset available here exactly for this purpose. Now it looks much better and a lot more realistic. The same goes for the nails, lips, and eyes, everything looks normal and nothing stands out. This is not all, there are additional things that you can do besides changing the translucency weight. 
they are changing the translucency color and the SSS reflectance tint. Translucency color is something that we already talked about, it is the color that translucency weight changes to with higher values. So you can change this color and it will influence the translucency weight and how the character looks. This allows for creating some very different skin tones, that are maybe darker, lighter, or have a different overall color than the default. Next is the SSS Reflectance Tint, which is better seen on the lower translucency weight values. It is an additional setting that is used together with others and it also changes the skin color. But this change is different, instead of changing the skin, it tints it. A great setting to be used for creating a tan for your character. Also, it is perfect to create some unnatural, alien, and weird skins. As it looks very good with it. It is harder to achieve similar effects with the translucency color and weight settings. Looks a lot odder. Additionally, to help you with changing skin colors and settings, you can visit the DAS3D.com shop. Here we have such products as Ultimate Per Skin Manager by the Digitimes. This adds a special separate menu that you can use to change the skin characteristics of any character. Similar to what we did today, but possibly easier. Next, Altern 8, Skin Shader System for Genesis 8 by 3 Diva. This is another way to enhance the skin of the character, it is a set of different presets that you can apply to your character and improve the look and feel of their skin. What is important? These changes can drastically decrease rendering times, saving your time. And finally, the Skin Builder 8 for Genesis 8 Female by Discobob and Zev Zero. It is an exclusive skin creation and skin modification system. An immensely powerful tool that allows working with the skin textures, to blend them in, control, and change. With it, you have the possibilities to create some unique characters that no one ever did before. To learn more about DAWS Studio, Blender, and 3D design overall, visit our website renderguide.com. Here we have such articles as DAWS 3D Change Skin Color, where you can learn even more about changing skin, skin color, and even how to make it wet. That is it for today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, to get more inspiration.